everybody, this is D Hunter bringing you another action figure review. Today we're going to be looking at the McFarlane Toys Fortnite Vendetta action figure. It's been a couple months since McFarlane dropped a Fortnite figure. I'm happy to see they're back in the game. Looks like this figure here is going to come with the traditional accessories, pickaxe, back bling, gun, and an action figure stand. So let's go ahead and check out the packaging here. As you can see, Vendetta, ages 12 plus. Epic Games, 22 moving parts, Fortnite, and here's the figure. Looking pretty good so far. Can't wait to crack him out of the package and see how he's like in hand. Top here, Fortnite Vendetta, McFarlane Toys. You can see the Spawn logo there. Here he is on the side, pose up. Here he is on the other side, pretty much the same thing. The bottom, we got a bunch of credits. And there's a barcode in case anybody needs it. And on the back side here, you can see a bunch of other recently released figures. And then we've got Vendetta and Scully. These are the two most recently released McFarlane figures. So with no further ado, let's open them up. All right, now that we got this guy out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He does come with a Fortnite collector stand. He has a scoped assault rifle. He's got a back bling called Retribution, and he's got a harvesting tool called the Mech Axe. Now Vendetta here is the skin you would get from getting Tier 100 in Season 9, completing all the Battle Pass challenges and raising through all the tiers. This guy also had a ton of different looks, mask on, mask off, green, red, some other various colors you could choose from. So let's go and check out the figure here. You can see his face here. Smiling all big. He's got some horns, a red circle in the middle. He's got like a good goatee there. You can really barely see it on the figure here. He's got a hood there, some energy effects on his shoulders, shoulder pads, armor on his body. Some more energy effects next to his feet. Overall, pretty good looking armor. It's a decent looking skin. Not one of my favorites, but it looks cool nonetheless. So next, let's check out his accessories, starting off with the boring stuff. Here's his collector stand. It's a perfect circle. Got the Fortnite logo on the bottom. It's got two pegs for the peg holes in their feet. This thing is more or less hollow. Now I'm not much of a stand guy. I prefer my figures to be able to stand up on the shelf on their own. This stand is going to go into a huge bit of stands, never be seen again. So next, let's check out his back bling. This thing is called the Retribution. Kind of a futuristic backpack up top here. And that is a cape, which I actually really like the colors. It's got sort of blue on the top, and it transitions to sort of a reddish color at the bottom. Matches his skin very nicely. And once you take the back bling and attach it via the peg into the peg hole in his back, here he is wearing his back bling. Can't really tell from the front, but take this guy Flip him around. Here he is wearing his back bling. Like I said before, the color combination matches his skin nicely. And here's his back bling next to all the different back blings they've made so far from McFarlane Fortnite toys. And they are interchangeable between the McFarlane figures. And here are all the different back blings by both McFarlane for their 7 inch line and for Jazzwares for their 6 inch line. They do attach the figures the same way with a peg into a peg hole on their back. Unfortunately, the back blings are not interchangeable between both lines as the thickness of the peg is quite different. Here are several different McFarlane figures wearing each other's back blings, showing you they are interchangeable between the McFarlane line. Like I said before, unfortunately the back blings are not interchangeable between McFarlane and Jazzwares. If you were to take the McFarlane figure here, he's got the hole in his back, and you were to take a Jazzwares back bling, simply will not fit, as the peg is just too thick no matter how hard you try. And in turn, if you were to take a Jazzwares figure, take a McFarlane back bling, it would fit in, but it's so small it would just come right back out. Next, let's check out his harvesting tool, or more commonly referred to in the game as a pickaxe. This is called the Mech Axe. You can see it's got some of the energy at the top there. Red, black colors, blue and black on the handle. 
overall not a bad pickaxe here he is holding his pickaxe vendetta here walking down the street here's a chest can't seem to figure out where it is decides to check through this wall here chop 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 so not only did he break through the wall but he gained some brick and exposed the chest that he was looking for here's for hoping for some good loot and it looks like when he opened the chest, he got a scoped assault rifle, a big pot, 50 shields, and some grenades. Here are all the different pickaxes McFarlane has made for their Fortnite collection, and they are interchangeable between all the McFarlane figures. And here are all the different pickaxes McFarlane has made for their 7 inch collection, and Jazzverse has made for their 6 inch collection, and I'm happy to say. They are interchangeable between both lines. Here are several different McFarlane figures holding each other's pickaxes, showing you they are interchangeable between the McFarlane line. And here are a couple of McFarlane figures holding Jazzwares pickaxes, and a couple of Jazzwares figures holding McFarlane pickaxes, showing you that they are interchangeable between both lines. Next, let's check out his gun. This is a scoped assault rifle. It's pretty much a gun with the capability of a sniper as far as having a scope and aiming from really far away, but simply does the damage of an assault rifle. Does, I don't know, 30, 32 damage. If you've got a guy with 200 health, it's going to take a lot of shots to bring him down. So here's the gun. Got some black. I see a little bit of texture on the handle there. Some silver, some blue as well. Pretty nice detail on this thing. You can see the scope up there. Here he is holding his scoped assault rifle. There's no way you'll ever get to raise the scope up to his eye. He can hold this thing just fine. You can see his trigger finger fitting into the trigger slot, no problem. And here are all the different assault rifles from the game they've made between McFarlane and Jazzwares. We've got a regular assault rifle, a legendary assault rifle nicknamed a Scar, suppressed assault rifle, Burst Assault Rifle, or a FAMAS, Tactical Assault Rifle, and the Scoped Assault Rifle. Here are all the different guns McFarlane has released so far in their Fortnite collection. And here would be all the different guns that McFarlane and Jazzwares together have made from the Fortnite world. Not showing the guns that both companies have made. Here are several McFarlane figures holding each other's guns, showing you they are interchangeable between each of the McFarlane figures. And here are a couple of McFarlane figures holding Jazzwares weapons, and a couple Jazzwares figures holding McFarlane weapons, showing you they are interchangeable between both lines. So next, let's check out some other Fortnite accessories you can use to enhance your Fortnite collection. Here he is driving a McFarlane quad crasher vehicle. And here he is riding like a passenger on the back of the quad crasher. He's got a scoped assault rifle out. Almost impossible to hit a shot on a fast moving quad crasher. Here he is being pushed around in a McFarlane Fortnite shopping cart. And here he is pushing somebody else around in one. Next, let's check him out next to a McFarlane Collider and Launchpad combo set. Here's how he scales up next to it when it's fully assembled. Here he is jumping off the launch pad, get ready to deploy his glider and fly away. And he sure does work well with the McFarlane Glider. You can see he can utilize the handlebars. Looking pretty nice. And if you were wondering how he works with Frostwing, the answer is excellent. Here he is next to a treasure chest I use for my Fortnite figures. This treasure chest is actually from Jazzwares and is intended for the smaller 4 inch figures. It was an accessory pack that came with extra guns and building material inside of it. Since the treasure chests are such a big part of the Fortnite game, I was happy to have one even though it's a little bit too large for the McFarlane figures. Here he is next to a llama. 
Obviously, this isn't from McFarlane Toys or Jazzwares, as it's simply a stuffed animal that I found at Walmart. Llamas like this are sort of a staple of the game. You see this llama, you know it's about Fortnite, so I was definitely happy to have one for my figures, even though it's a little bit too large as well, next to the McFarlane figures. Here he is, next to a campfire. This campfire came from NECA, Friday the 13th Jason action figure. It's pretty cool for Jason, and doubles up great for your Fortnite figures. Here he is, next to some shields and heels, some balloons and some explosives. These are accessories that came with some Jazzwares figures, and they work great with your McFarlane collection. Now that we've taken a very in-depth look at his accessories, as well as some other accessories you can use to enhance this figure, next let's check out the height of this guy. From bottom to top, he's sitting at about 7.2 inches tall, which is going to translate to about 18 centimeters. Next, let's check out this guy's articulation. So, starting with his head here, he's got this soft hood on top. It's going to prevent you from utilizing much of his articulation. He's got a ball joint under his head and neck area, and it, but you can really barely move it as it's attached to the hood. He does have another ball joint at the base of the neck, and you can get a little bit more use out of that. You can kind of see in the back here, it actually does kind of move around a little bit more. Can really not turn it much at all from side to side. Can look down about that far, but the hood just sort of pushes it back up there. Shoulders are on a ball joint. They go at about 90 degrees. They would go further, but the shoulder pad obstructs it from going any farther up. Ball joint there, up, down, around, all that fun stuff. You see this large bit of material between the shoulder and the chest. It's called a butterfly joint. It allowed it to go in and out. He's got a bicep cut below that. He's got double jointed elbows below that. His wrist here, there is a ball between his forearm and hand area. It can rotate around and it's hinged as well. He's got a ball joint here in his chest area. It can rotate around from side to side and allows him to lean forward and back a little bit as well. He's got another ball joint under here and it's covered up very nicely. You can only sort of see it from the side here. It can rotate just a little bit and go forward and back a little more as well. Giving him a pretty nice range of motion in his torso area. His legs, then go out about that far, not 90 degrees. It's not a ball joint, but it's a similar type concept. They can move very slightly independently of what's inside of there. Forward, really not too much, unless you move to the side, then it can go out. Back, not too bad. Double joint knees. His foot is a similar concept to his wrist. There's a ball between the foot and shin area. Up that far, down that far, toe articulation. Can rotate around, and if you want to rock it, you've got to kind of rotate the ball, get the foot back in place, and you kind of rock it from side to side. Those ball ankles are kind of a pain in the ass to get to do everything they can do. Next, let's check them out compared to some of their action figures. Starting off by looking at him with some other Fortnite figures. Here he is with the other figure that was released at the same time as him. These are the two most recently released McFarlane Fortnite figures, Vendetta and Scully. And here he is with the most four recently released figures before him and Scully. Here he is with the entire McFarlane Fortnite collection. And here he is next to the entire Jazzwares Fortnite collection. And here are all the Fortnite figures that I got multiples of. You may ask yourself, why so many? I want to get all four different faces on the wildcard figure. I use them as the Royal Flesh Gang in my DC action figure world. I wanted to get four of each Skull Trooper to use as Scarecrow henchmen in my Batman action figure world. I got four Night Hairs and four Rabbit Raiders, mainly used as Mad Hatter henchmen in my Batman action figure world. And then we've got two Crack Shots that I use for Toy Man henchmen in my DC action figure world. 
And here he is in a huge battle royale with all my different Fortnite figures. As you can see, here they are shooting each other, driving, launching explosives, sniping, healing, gliding, getting loot, trying to get as many kills as they can, teaming up on each other, trying to see who can get the most team kills, and more importantly, who can get the win. Next, let's check them out compared with some different action figure lines from various companies to see how he fits in both scale and style wise in case you want to know which lines you can mix him with. Here he is with some of his McFarlane Toys brothers. In front of you are five different action figure lines all from McFarlane Toys. And here with some DST or Diamond Select Toys. Then next is some NECA action figures. And here he is with some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. Then here he is with some Mattel wrestling figures. And now next is some Mezco 112th cloth soft goods action figures. And here with some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. Then with some Mafex figures. And here with some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And here with some SH Figure Arts action figures. So overall, this is a decent figure, but I must confess, it's definitely not one of my favorite skins. I don't really dislike it, but it doesn't do too much for me. I'd say he's probably not in my top 10 McFarlane Fortnite figures, and he's not in my top 10 skins either. I probably wore the skin for a couple days when I got tier 100 during season nine, and I don't think I've worn him since then at all. If I were to rate this figure, I'd probably give it a 6.5 out of 10. It is a nice figure, but it's not one of my favorites. Something cool I did want to point out, on his sort of chest area here, looks like it says Alt F9, kind of humorous if nothing else. So this is D Hunter, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.